Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on Desire, and this is page eight, and this is um, roughly the layout. So it's pretty simple. We've got two um, accordion style flaps. Let me set my papers aside. So you're gonna do two of these. This is nine and a half. By seven and a half, nine and a half by seven and a half. So you're going to score it a half inch, and I'm going to verify this half inch and five and a quarter, half inch, five and a quarter against the nine and a half inch size. So you're going to do two of those, and then you're also going to do a six by eight photo mat. And I've chomped my corners, but we're going to set that aside for now. I'm going to move all my papers. Okay, so this is the lower. This is the upper, and it's going to be installed like this. This part is going to go down. Same for here. And I don't have my mat under me, but that's okay. I don't think I really need it. It's mostly a mess catcher. I don't, I rarely use a straight edge, so I don't really need it. So the flap is going to go down. I'm just going to go flush, maybe. Ow. Up the edge. There we go. And now we're going to repeat that on the top. Now there should be a half inch gap there and you've got a half inch here and a half inch here. Okay, so let me double check. Everything looks like it's all in the right place. So I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this down. Okay, so I am going to find my center spot here with my Tim Holtz ruler. Should be five. Yeah, there's my center right there. Okay, and I'm going to, whoops, center this one inch strip right here. I'm gonna find the center on this side too. Okay, so that is gonna go right there. Looks good. I've got it inked, so I'm ready to put it in. <sighs> Nala's hair everywhere. Speaking of the devil, she just walked in. <laughs> she said, hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, no. See, it isn't so. Okay. And again, this is a one inch strip. Goes in just like that. Okay, so let's start. This is right side up. Let's start by putting in um, the big polka dot. So that pulls in this pattern again. And I'm gonna dry fit real quick, but it looks, oh, you know what? Let's think about that for a second. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. We need a magnet before we go any further. So we're gonna put a magnet here. And the magnet down below. Okay, so that we'll keep this all nice and tidy. So now we're ready to lay down the polka dots. 
and it's inked. Okay, so see how that comes in. Now we have this. Now this is going to be the same on the other side, so I just want to align my print. Looks like that's how it was cut, so perfect. So it's going to go down here. Double check. Everything looks great. Okay, now we're going to put some magnets here. Didn't use a lot of magnets in the rest of the album, but we're going to use several here. My, my desk is metal, so the magnets really grab. Okay, fat tape. Oops. Oh, this goes here. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, it's too small. There it goes. So, so, so far we've got the blue, we've got this, and it's an accordion. So we're working on the back side of this. There's just no getting rid of all that hair, I swear. I hope everybody's doing good. Okay, so these two are done. Now we need to work on this part. I'm gonna use this. This is from the Patterns Pack. I think most everything here is Patterns. This is the one that's kind of in question. It might be, oh, you know what, I cut the, it's from Patterns also. goes up here. I don't know what I was doing. It goes up here. I think it was just in the wrong pile. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is what goes down here. Yeah. Oops, not inked. Sorry, I was trying to choose the size. They're so similar, but I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's get some magnets up here. for a second so it's going to go so this is where the photo mat comes in it's going to be attached like so oh you know what that means that means I should move this yeah and I want it to actually attach to this so there's not so much behind it so we'll we'll move that um, the magnet that was down here Okay, let's set this aside for a second. Let's go ahead and decorate the photo mat. Um, this is from the Patterns Collection. I'm doing it the same color on both sides, I think. Uh, maybe I'll do one side black and one side red. So the top, the side that's going to be exposed on top is going to be red and then when you open it up the B side will be black. Perfect. Nope, before I do that, I need to figure out where the magnet goes. So, so this is the bottom flap gonna move that over here for now and this is going to be attached like so so I think I want it to come in to about right there okay yeah so I'm gonna use this as my locator now I'm just looking to see if it's straight it looks pretty good okay Put a little reference line. Let's go ahead and decorate this. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Just sort of thinking out loud. This will go here. Oh, I'm excited, guys. Um, I just got my new assignment. So my next project is going to be Graphic 45 Enchanted Forest. So that should be fun. So that looks lovely. This should go here. Double check the size. Very hard to see the edge. Looks good. I need a magnet in here, don't I? Do I? Yes, I do. Darn it. I can't get it together. So we need a magnet here. Let's see if I can't get it. Yeah, I can get it under there pretty quick. Okay. So I'm going to push it in and then I'm going to hold it with my finger and then slide the spatula out. Or I'm gonna try. Nope. Yeah. There it goes. Looks just about right. So now I'm gonna put the mate here. 
this is can be a little bit more challenging because you can't really see what you're doing. Oops, that's two magnets. Don't want that. That's just to help me visually locate magnet. So this needs to come over down right there. I did it. Okay. I'm going to glue this shut. Yep. Pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little glue in here to make sure it's not slipping around. Since I wasn't able to add tape. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so basically we've got magnets here and here. Okay, now we're gonna decorate this side. It's gonna be like that. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. I just was starting to look at whether or not anything was directional. I should have done that much earlier, but we're okay. Okay. That's page seven. Okay, now we're ready to put this on. I think I'm, yeah, I've already got a pencil mark here. Okay, so I put a reference line here where the uh, flap closes. So we're gonna put glue down here. Now, we want, oh, I eek, I didn't want that to happen. Oh, thank goodness. Now, we're going to put a magnet over here for this. Let's see what I mean in just a second. temporary tape. I should have put the magnet under here, but what I'm going to do is put it back here. Oh, where's my... Is 
that going to work? No, it's not. Why not? There, we just need that. That's all I need. So this is just temporary tape. I lay it down, and then it'll be very easy to locate the magnet on that side. My fingernails are just worthless. Okay. That's it. It's perfect. Now, whoops, I let that get away from me. Gonna do that one more time. it oh good and it's away from uh, this so this gets removed okay now we'll put the black on this side yeah this will look nice because this is going to be black and cream down here so it'll look very nice This is a fun page. It takes a lot of paper, but I like it. Okay, now the last thing is we're going to um, color block right here. So I need my pencil. I'm gonna put my ink up. Okay. So bad. Oh no. That's not good. So I need to glue this back to or tape it back together and move my cut line. Man, is this like the second or third time in this album I've done this? That's a lot for one album. Oh, that was the end of my tape. So remember, if you don't ink the edges, you can pretty much make that disappear. Let's see how I've got that. That's double-sided tape. And some, here it is. Plain scotch tape. I hate this tape. It doesn't want to tear. I don't know if it's my hands or if it's just cheap tape.
Okay, let's do that one more time. Wow, that was really dumb. So that's uh, okay. So this is directional, so do pay attention um, to which way you're putting your words in. I just don't know how I got off so far. Good idea. It's off like an inch. It's strange. Nothing that a little bit of tape can't fix. Okay. I'm going to ink it and we're going to lay it in. But before I glue it down, I'm going to double check one more time the orientation. And that's correct. That's the way I wanted it. I wanted the big flap to the big flap extension to go up, not toward your lap, if you're holding the uh, book in your, in your lap. Okay, so let's clear the field of vision. This is page page eight. So the flap opens up, down, and out. Whoops, it's so big. I know it's hard to get it all in. Yay, now let me make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do this and it's like, oh, that side's not covered. Nope, we're all good. Okay, now I want to put something on here to make it obvious that these open. And so I just did these two little circle dots. That's an inch. Um, and then I did my technique where I emboss around it and then just free cut. So that's going to go up here and here. And then I think once you open it, it's pretty obvious that it opens the other way too. So I did a total of four of these. Where are they? So it would be front and back, like so. There should be, here they are. Right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this dot down. Whoops, that should have only been half a circle.
Okay. Okay, so I can get them lined up. Oh, I think that dried a little too fast for me. Yeah, so we'll put some more glue in there. Okay, and it's just cardstock and circles. There's no magnets or anything else in there. It's really just, uh, you know, kind of an indicator that there's some movement here. Okay, page seven, page eight. Okay, um, we'll get when we get back together. I will. We'll be doing the walkthrough. So thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon.